And we do begin tonight with how things are heating up across the Badger State, literally, with the state officials saying that we are seeing the worst drought conditions in more than a decade. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langbed. And I'm Eric Marotek. That and the hot weather means a rough go for farmers this season. News 9's Jimmy Sadowski breaks it down. Nearly 80% of the state is under some kind of drought condition. The DNR tells me this is the first time in over a decade things have been this bad, which could affect farms across Wisconsin. Southwestern, northern, and central Wisconsin are the biggest areas of concern for the drought right now. The DNR says the drought, called a flash drought, came on quick. We went through a record period of wet 2017 through 2021, where we hadn't seen water levels go up to those levels in 100 years. And just as quickly as we reach those high water levels, we've we've responded and, and gone into a, a drought situation this year. Cattail Organics here in Athens put in the work ahead of time, doing what they can to prepare for conditions just like this. We plan for drought. We plan for drought all the time. And so, as I mentioned, we're not dependent like uh, larger crop farmers, like dairy farmers on natural rainfall because we have irrigation systems in place. And part of that is because vegetables are a very high value per acre crop. All that preparation means they're one of the lucky ones. Even so, the drought is taking its toll. Our biggest impact on our farm has honestly been sleep and stress. Because we're managing moving irrigation all the time, that means that we have interrupted sleep almost all the time. I joke that it's like having a newborn baby. And um, it also means that there's kind of stress around that moisture that's persistent. As for whether or not the drought conditions will improve, Adam says it's hard to tell because of how unpredictable and scattered storms can be, especially in the summer months. The DNR also wants landowners to reach out and report if they're having issues keeping their crops going. The DNR updates their drought monitor every week so you can know what to expect. We'll have a link on our website. In Athens, Jimmy Sadowski, News 9, WAOW.